Hello everyone, this is Ramani. I'm working as a resident professor of chemistry in Nalanand Maradi group of institution. Today I'm going to explain potable water. So what is potable water? The water which is suitable for the human consumption, that water we call potable water. So when the water is set away potable water, it should be follow some requirements. What are those requirements? The water should be colorless, odorless, and it from, is free from the solids. And it should be soft and it should be abundant and cheap. And it does not contain any microorganisms like bacteria, fungus, and virus. And it should contain the dissolved oxygen 5 to 7 ppm. And it does not contain any dissolved salts like calcium and magnesium. Then that water we call potable water and it is suitable for the human consumption. Okay. Next, water treatment especially domestic water treatment. So in the domestic water treatment, we use uh, different methods to remove all the impurities, remove all the impurities from the water. Okay, what are those methods? Screening, sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection. Let's see first what is screening. Okay, it is used to remove suspended impurities by passing water through screens having a large number of holes when the floating matter are retained by them. Okay, the screens are vertical bars with the perforation. Water is passed through them where the suspended and floating impurities are removed. Okay, when the hard water contains all dissolved and impurities and also solid materials and floating materials. So when the water is passing through these screens, here in the screens, it contains some large number of holes. Okay, when the water is passing through the screens, all the floating materials and solid uh, materials are retained by these screens. Okay, and here we can remove all the floating materials and solid materials. Then the water which is obtained from the screens, that water should be free from solid materials and floating materials. Okay. Next, sedimentation. What is sedimentation? It is a process of removing spine suspended and colloidal impurities by adding some coagulants or chemicals. Okay, when we add the coagulants or chemicals to the water, the water, whatever the chemicals are, some impurities present in the water, these are reacts with the coagulants and form a precipitates. And these precipitates are settled down the bottom of the vessel when we uh, allow the water in undisturbed condition in three or four hours, then all the precipitates are settled in the bottom of the vessel. Okay, and these are we can easily remove by filtration. Okay, generally used coagulants are alum. Alum we can also uh, represent it like this Al2 SO4 taken three. This is a chemical formula of alum. This we use for removing the, the all the um, dissolved salts from the water. For example, calcium bicarbonate. This calcium bicarbonate reacts with alum and form aluminum hydroxide. This aluminum hydroxide is a precipitate. So this precipitate will be formed at the bottom of the vessel that we can easily remove by the filtration. Okay, this is the sedimentation with the coagulation. Next, filtration. After doing the sedimentation, then the water is passing through the um, this vessel. In this vessel, it separates the all colloidal and suspended impurities from water. So when this water is passing through a porous bed, okay, in this uh, vessel it contains a porous bed, and this porous bed made by fine sand and other proper site granular materials. And filtration is carried out in a sand filter. It contains a, a top thick layer of fine sand placed over the coarse sand layer followed by gravel. Okay, these are absorbed see all the colloidal impurities from water and that will get the finally the water which is free from the dissolved impurities and colloidal impurities. Next, disinfection. What is disinfection? It is a process to removing the, all the pathogenic bacteria, viruses, and protozoa from water. After doing all these methods, 
still water contains some microorganisms so these microorganisms we can remove in this process so it is done by by using different methods what are those method by boiling by adding bleaching powder by direct chlorination by adding chloramines and ozonization and by adding kmfo by using this we remove all the microorganisms from the water so this process we call disinfection process okay so first what is boiling when we boil the water for 100 degree centigrade all the microorganisms will be killed so then what will get what the water will get which is free from the microorganisms next by adding bleaching powder when we add the bleaching powder to the water it kills the all the harmful bacteria from the water okay next direct chlorination in the chlorination process we use chlorine gas okay here we use the chlorine gas this chlorine gas is reacts with the water and form first hypochloric acid this hypochloric acid is a strong disinfectant and this reacts with germs and it kills the germs okay and what is the advantage of this chlorination it is economical and require little space for storage and stable does not deteriorate and storage does not introduce a calcium okay this is the advantage of direct chlorination okay next ozonization by using ozone gas we remove all the microorganisms from the water okay so o oxygen uh, the it converted into ozone in the presence of uv light okay and this oxygen ozone uh, decomposes from oxygen and atomic oxygen and molecular oxygen this atomic oxygen we can also called nascent oxygen this nascent oxygen is a strong disinfectant and it kills the all the microorganisms from the water okay and what is the advantage of this ozonization it is excess of ozone in water it uh, is not harmful as it decomposes it gives oxygen okay and ozone improves the taste of water highly potable water is thus sterilized with the ozone what is the disadvantage of this ozonization ozonization is a very expensive process ozone is also corrosive agent it corrodes the stainless steel cast iron and copper and rubber okay okay this is the advantages and disadvantages of ozonization process okay this is a complete diagram for the domestic water treatment so first water we passing through the screens in the screens we remove all the floating materials and solid materials okay then the water passing through the sedimentation tanks and with the coagulants so here we can remove the all the colloidal materials and that we remove by through the filtration in the filtration it contains sand bed it is sand bed absorbs the all the colloidal impurities and we'll get finally the water which is free from the all the dissolved impurities and colloidal impurities and this water contains some microorganisms that microorganism we can remove by the chlorination or disinfection process then finally get the water which is useful for the human consumption okay thank you